Hey there boys and girls and welcome to episode 233 of Sonic Boom TV. This episode is uh, two new records and two CDs, one new and one I won twice, um, if that makes any sense. Uh, so uh, I wasn't supposed to buy any records in the last couple days, but uh, I went to Walmart and uh, I should have done that. <laughs> I went to two Walmarts, actually, uh, but I'll get to that in a second, um, and, uh, I just wanted to, uh, show two CDs that I got first before we get to the records. Uh, I got this one from Dead Broke Records, not sponsored, but Dead Broke Records. I got this, another copy of this, uh, Space Robot Scientist. We've got a Time Machine CD. I still haven't even opened the other one, um, I don't, I don't know where I put it, um, but I, I won this from him a couple weeks ago and then last week i put the show on whatnot and i fell asleep and i woke up and right within a minute of waking up he did another giveaway and i just clicked the button wasn't really paying attention to what i was doing um you know i was half still half asleep and i won this again so i got two cds of this so i may do one as a giveaway at some point um uh and then the other thing i got for it was either three or four dollars I got from uh, off of uh, VC Vinyl's whatnot page is the Skeggs uh, rehearsal CD. It's in a uh, what they call these uh, digipack kind of thing, and I opened it up and I basically flipped, did like that. the The artwork it's kind of childlike drawings, but it's it's so the the patterns on this is so crazy you can't really tell what's going on so it's kind of a poor choice but anyway i opened it up and i did i basically did that and uh i don't even know if i pulled the booklet out but i put it down went in the other room came back and i had a drink sitting there iced tea to be exact and i, I wasn't even like facing it and I, I think i was making my bed or something i don't know but i hit the glass the cup and it tilted but then it didn't fall over but it tilted and splashed and hit the top of this so all this like here got wet briefly so i wiped it off real quick and the cover seemed good and i pulled out the the booklet and the booklet looks amazingly flat right now um it's a little little bit you probably can't see it uh but it's a little we got a little water ish to it you can't really tell uh, but it was wet, and you could see it on the on that because it was the color of this was from about right here, all the way around the edge was had a wet spot. So I had to sit there and separate the pages real quick, and uh, and then just kind of fan it to dry it off, and let it sit for an hour or so, and then it dried, and and I stuck it back in the inside of the thing, but I stuck it in the bottom because the bottom part of this is real tight. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. You, nobody cares. Uh, but I stuck it in there upside down, and it kind of flattened it back out, mostly. But anyway, the inside of this is just... Uh, it's got the artwork, but the words are real small. I don't know if that... I'm sure that's lyrics and stuff. Uh, I, I feel like there's a lot of weirdness going on with this. But uh, Australian um, punk, garage, hippie, something or other... Uh, I haven't listened to it yet, so um, I just listened to the, the record that I got last time. You remember that other video? Um, so anyway, that was that. So, I had to go to Walmart yesterday. I went to two different Walmarts, by the way. I went to Walmart yesterday, and I needed to get for, uh, not this one, but the one that you've seen in the past behind me, the record shelf. You, you probably saw how it was kind of pulled apart. Uh, so I went to Walmart to find a C clamp. Now it's a little bigger than I wanted it to be, but it'll it's gonna work for now. So I bought two of these. I only need one. This is pretty heavy weight too, for I think they were like three or four bucks or something like that. Uh, but uh, bought that so I put on the other one. I have it clamped like right there, and uh, it kind of sticks up a little bit. It doesn't look great, but I'm probably gonna hang something from it so it it kind of disguises it a little bit. Uh, but it pulled them together and now they're sitting straight even. Uh, this one, we've got 
about that much space going where it's not to the back. So, and I don't know what's... There's something... I think it's that picture that's hanging up there you can't see. It's kind of causing it to do that. So that one just may be uneven, but that one over there is, is fixed. Um, and then today, I had to go to another Walmart. Well, I could have went to the same one, but it was a little bit further away so I, from where I was. So, But I had to buy a uh, some nuts and bolts because the sofa that I've been talking about that needs to get the heck out of here... Uh, I, I found I have a dolly that was in my house, but it was missing the bottom part where you put something on it to carry it. Well, I found it. It, it was it was in a in my laundry closet, but it was the way it was like it was like wedged underneath the uh, the washing machine, so it was up against it, so you couldn't see that it was there. And I just said, I know I have to have this somewhere, and I started looking, and I found it. But I needed the the bolts to hook it to the push part, whatever you want to call it. So I went to a different Walmart and bought a little pack of bolts. Now, when I looked up the pack of bolts online, they only had big packs and it was like 20 bucks. Ended up going to, when I got to the store, they had a little pack that had four in it for a dollar. So a dollar 20 or something like that. So anyway, needless to say, when I went to these Walmarts, I went and I looked at the records. I went to look at the clearance first because people were saying they find a record at Walmart's clearance. I just, I've never seen that here. Um, not to say it doesn't happen, but I, I've never seen it. Uh, so I went in there, and uh, first Walmart I went to, looked through, looked through. There's a lot of stuff I want, but the prices are, are too high, and I really couldn't afford it this week to be buying uh, records. And um, but I did. I bought two. Um, so, uh, but I, I was looking, and there's stuff that you know everything is like forty dollars now, and it just it was ridiculous. And I came across something that. I was surprised that it was not forty dollars. I'm surprised it was not thirty dollars. Um, and uh, it's one of these albums that probably not a lot of people are into. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I haven't been I haven't listened to it in years. Um, but uh, I wanted to see if I had the uh, CD. Uh, but it's it's one of those things that. Uh, I really liked back in the 90s and uh, it um, it's a kind of poppy sounding album it's alternative rock it's also Christian rock which it doesn't sound like it from what anything I rem remember it's just they were in that genre and the 90s were, were really big on that let me just show you what it is uh, six pence none the richer uh, this is a deluxe anniversary edition I didn't know this was even out um, this came out in February I believe it's on the exclusive olive green 2LP, Walmart Edition. Uh, original album lineup includes the hits Kiss Me, There She Goes, plus a new song, The Tide, on 180 gram vinyl, 2LP. Um, and I'll let you guys look at that real quick. Uh, the track, this was $26.97, and that's the reason I bought it. Uh, you know, I pulled the, pulled the trigger right there because I, I was like, wait, a 2LP... Uh, album. I'm looking over here because I'm trying to see where the CD is. Uh, two LP for uh, a double vinyl for under thirty bucks. At, you know, is getting rare. So I grabbed it. Um, let me see real quick. Oh no, I don't. I don't know what happened to the CD for. I have the first album CD, but I don't know what happened to the second one. I have it somewhere, but I think it's misplaced. But the first album was this one. Um, and uh, this one is called uh, This Beautiful Mess. Uh, so I think they had three or four albums back then, and I think they have one newer one that was a Christmas album and then an EP that came out. Um, but this one... Um, from what I read on Wikipedia, that's why I was going to check the CD because I wanted to make sure. Apparently, the original version, they, they, the, uh, there she goes, which is the a Laws cover. Um, the they kind of sound the same. The, the versions, um, if you listen to the Laws version and and Six Minutes Another Richer song, they're kind of the same kind of thing. Um, but um. Apparently, that wasn't on the album when it first came out. And then when they re-released it, they put... Uh, 
they put that on and took two songs off, I think, from what I understand. And then, uh, and so I, I wanted to see what my CD had, but I can't find the CD. I, I thought it was sitting there, but it's not. Uh, and I looked for it the other day too. Um, I thought I thought I'd be able to find it just by kind of looking, but uh, I don't know. But anyway, so back in the '90s, uh, a lot of bands like this that were Christian rock uh, kind of broke through, and and it was because for me. Uh, it, because usually when you when you get religious music, uh, whether it's uh, kind of mainstream or not, it's usually kind of corny sounding, you know. And and that's not to say anything about anybody's religion because I, I'm Catholic myself, you know. And but in the '90s, a lot of bands, uh, alternative rock bands, were uh, Christian rock bands, and, and some people say Creed was. I don't know if they were or not, but. Uh, but bands like Six Men's None of the Richer, uh, oh, now, uh, Jars of Clay, uh, they're all slipping my mind now, uh, Plum, uh, Third Day, couple, they all kind of latched on to that alternative rock sound. Uh, DC Talk was another one. DC Talk was a horrible rap group when they first came out, and then they changed into a, a on the Jesus Freak album, they they changed into this alternative rock, and they were like really good at it. So anyway, a lot of those bands went and did the the style of the day, and they were good, and they and they weren't preachy, and they weren't corny sounding, and and whatever. And you know that never really caught on a lot um, before that, because I mean, as far as like the eighties, when the eighties, the heavy metal era, the only thing band I can remember is uh, is Striper. And, and Petra, I think it was. That I don't even know if they were heavy metal, but they were kind of hard rock. But besides that, it, nobody was doing it, you know, and it, it's, that got big anyway. So some of the bigger named bands uh, fit in, you know, of the Christian rock genre fit in with the alternative rock movement, and it was great. And so a lot of times you didn't even know that, that they were, because I, I didn't know that they this band was... Uh, but when I saw the, the name Sixpence None the Richer, I, I kind of had an idea, and I eventually looked it up later and found out that they were. Um, but anyway, so I got that one, and it was twenty six ninety seven, as I said. Couldn't believe it, and it's got, it's got all the songs that were originally on the album, the additional uh, "There She Goes," uh, and then there's also I think six other song bonus tracks or something uh and uh i can't remember how what it said because it you can't really read them on the back of there they're small and it, and it doesn't really but uh but there's a total of 17 songs so there uh there's there she goes acoustic version uh kiss me acoustic sad but true is that the new one no the tide is the new one um uh, the tide is the last on side. Four, is the first song on side four. So, so I guess the, the original album must have had eleven songs or ten songs, and then they added the one back. I don't know, but it's got everything, and it's got a couple extra tracks. So, really, really, uh, I think that's a good find um, for that price. Um, and you know, we'll open it in a second. Um, kind of rambled on that one a little bit. The next one I went to when I went to the other Walmart closer to where I was today. I decided to go in there and I said, "I'm not buying anything. I'm not buying anything. I got to get these bolts, and it's going to cost me twenty bucks or whatever for these dumb bolts that I only need four of." Uh, and when I got the four and it was only a dollar something, I said, "Oh God, I'm going to walk to the record section and see what happens." Walked over there. They had a lot of stuff. Uh, they they had probably 15 or 20 records that I wanted that I don't have. Um, and some of them were like those icon things or whatever, like the Poison. Uh, there's a Poison icon. I think it's got two records in it. But they were all over 30 bucks. Most of them were over 40 bucks. And I was like, nah. But the first thing I saw when I got there, and somebody pl planted this for me. I, they had to. It was the first record at on the bottom row, because the records are on three shelves, or three or four rows up, and they kind of go up. And so the very first record at the first spot on the first level, Alice in Chains, Jar of Flies. Uh, 
this is a very popular record album. Uh, when this came out, it kind of aggravated me because uh, this is their second EP, and it seemed like everybody liked the or was into the uh, facelift album. I loved it. I was one of the first people probably to, to catch on to it down here. I mean, it, it. I was a very early adapter of, of Alice in Chains, and I remember having the CD in school and everybody wanting to borrow it. So um, maybe people knew, but, you know, they didn't have it. I was one of the first ones to have it, at least at my school, um, high school. Then they came out with the SAP EP, and I don't remember anybody having that ever. Like, I didn't know any friends. That was more when I was in college, but... I don't remember anybody having it, um, and I thought it was great, and it was just was awesome, and, and I would show people, oh, I don't, I don't care about that. I don't know. Then when this one came out, they went crazy for it, and I was like, why do you like this one, but you don't like the other one, because the other one's similar, kind of. Then, years later, I don't know how many years, they started packaging these together, the, the, the Sap and Jar of Flies. You could buy the CD, and I don't know if it was two separate CDs, or one pack with both. I don't remember how it was. I never bought it because I had them separately. Um, but uh, I would still need to get Sap if I could find it. But they had this out. And I don't know if it was uh, an original record or a bootleg. But it was always kind of expensive. And when I went to Walmart, twenty one ninety seven. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's try to... Ah, the glare. The glare kills me here. Twenty one ninety seven. So... I was like, man, that's a pretty good price for this. Uh, it's only seven songs, but it's got Rotten Apple, Nutshell, I Stay Away, No Excuses, Whale and Moss, Don't Follow, and Swing on This. And I think I Stay Away, No Excuses, and Don't Follow were all singles from this. Um, so, really good. Um, I'm glad to have it. Um, I am I think I have everything that I really want on Vinyl? No, I don't. Uh, I don't have uh, Sap. That was the one I was going to say I don't have. But I don't have the, the one with the, uh, the dog on the front. Uh, peg leg or three leg or whatever they people call it. Just Alice in Chains is what it's called. Um, and then the ones after that uh, with the new singer. I don't know if they ever they did another one with Lane Staley. Uh, you know, I don't know. And I, I don't know if they have their unplugged either. I, I might. Um, I can't remember. Um, but I have most of their stuff on CD. I mean, almost everything. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll probably get the stuff as, if it comes available to me cheaply on vinyl. But, uh, you know, that'll remain to be seen. Um, so anyway, let's go and uh, open this one. Um, I did buy something else off of uh, off of Whatnot today. The, the, they did the, uh, the dollar show for VC Vinyl. And it's mostly stuff that I already have or just don't want. But they do CDs, and they got a lot of different CDs that they they don't have vinyl of. And I tried to bid a couple. People kept bidding everything up to like four or five dollars, and I, I was like, if it's a dollar show, I'm not gonna go and try to bid that much on CDs. But the one I did buy uh, that I paid four dollars for was the Violent Femmes uh, uh, Water Birds Sing uh, CD. It's got two two CDs. It's got, I think it's got some bonus tracks, um, as well as a live album with it and on second disc. <sighs> Excuse me, it's after 2 a.m. here, almost 3 a.m., uh, 2.42. Uh, but I ordered that, um, so that'll come next week, but, uh, it, um, I didn't own that one. I have most of the songs of the original album, but I, I just didn't, uh, I never owned it before, so... Figured I'd go ahead and get it. Okay, so we got the, the cover. We got the back cover with this uh, insect. So a fly. I don't know what those. I don't know if that's part of his head. I guess those. I guess his antennas or whatever up there. But kind of crazy. Uh, then we've got the in, inner sleeve, which it looks like a goat. It's made, the, the top is up here, uh, but it, it seems like it's supposed to go like that, but it's, it's like that. Uh, maybe that, I don't know. I'm going to put it in the thing. See, if you put it in like that, then the words are sideways on that side, but they're right side up on this side, so it's kind of confusing. Uh, or not, because they're in different directions, so either way, but it's got the lyrics and stuff. 
Pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Right, pull it out. Very, oh, the static on this thing just grabbed my arm hairs. Uh, kind of nice uh, label on that side with the, the fly. Put that way. And the other side has got the standard kind of thing with the logo and such. Um, but uh, this is a good album, a good EP, I should say. Uh, but I like the other one, Sap, better. I did, always did. Um, oh, I forgot it says Alice Chain's four time platinum EP. So they sold this one a lot. I bet you, I bet you, Sap didn't get anywhere near that. Uh, uh, remastered audio includes the hit songs I Stay Away, No Excuses, and Nutshell. Hmm. I don't know what Nutshell is, but I thought Don't Follow. Maybe Don't Follow is the one I liked. Uh, but uh, anyway, that's that on that one. Then let's open up the old Sixpence None the Richer. Uh, this is kind of heavy. I mean, it's too, too LP, but it feels heavy like. Like there's something in it. I don't know if there's any kind of bonus booklet or whatever. Um, olive green vinyl will probably be pretty ugly because I've had a record described as that before, and it, it was a not a pretty green, not for me anyway. Um, so we've got the cover. We've got. The band picture the girl um i like her voice she's kind of a, a quirky looking person sometimes you know she i guess this is the way she does her hair and, and stuff she just um i don't know she's just a. she seems like she might be a little strange you know in real life i don't know that's that's unfair to say but but it just seems like it always seemed like that to me um she's cute though so i mean you know not that that has anything to do with anything either but uh no, no extra stuff. Just printed printed sleeves. So we've got a little history of maybe the album and the band or something here. Uh, it's uh, 20 years ago. Kiss Me became one of the most popular songs in the world. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm not going to read all that for you guys. I mean, come on. Uh, and it did become, it was a good song. It's a, it a very catchy pop song. Turn to rock. So we've got a printed inner sleeve. Um, kind of nice, kind of nice. Some track information. I don't believe this is the lyrics. Yeah, it is lyrics. My eyes are getting getting not good, guys, for for looking at small stuff. Um, and the yellow. Kind of nice, kind of nice, kind of nice. Um, well, this is not the olive green I thought it was going to be. It's actually not too bad. I thought it was going to be a little darker than that. So we've got the, uh, I don't know what that little symbol is. I don't know if that's a, something to do with something. Uh, well, that one's got a little flower with a cross in the center of it. Um, looks like a sacred heart, but. Um, made into like a magnolia sort of thing. I don't know where this band's from. Um, Texas, I believe. Um, te or actually, I think I remember reading they were from Texas and they moved to Nashville. Uh, so, finding a lot of stuff that I never thought I would ever own on vinyl lately. Uh, 90s kind of stuff. And another one. And this one's got a deer. What is that? A crown with wings is what that one was and then that one is a deer leaping over something. they probably all have some kind of meaning um I, w I don't know what they are i mean but pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool so that is it for that um my uh my area here it's, it's, it's kind of in order and a mess at the same time uh um you know, I've been talking to you guys about showing off my uh, my space, and I'm going to do that hopefully this weekend. Because if that if that sofa gets out of the way, then everything else comes together. Uh, but you know, I've gotten most of my stuff. You can't really see it, but the record player that I always talk about that's over here had boxes of CDs and cassettes on top of it. 
Now it's only got boxes of CDs on top of it, which are going to move uh, very quickly. Uh, the CDs are now in the space between the shelf and the record player um, on the floor, basically, but stacked neatly. Um, the cassettes, I don't know if I said cassettes or CDs. And then, uh, and then once I just get everything that sofa out and things pushed back just a little bit that way, I'll, uh, I'll do like a little uh, rooms tour kind of thing of my space here. It's not very big, guys. It's, it's basically uh, maybe 10 feet. <laughs> you know, whatever this is here. Two, two of these, probably two from this to the edge right there. Uh, probably it's almost three of those wide and maybe four of those deep is my area that I've dedicated to be my music uh area and it's and it's not and it's funny because i don't actually sit here and listen to music when i hear because my stereo and stuff is in it's in the same room but the way this room is it's like an l shape and it's over in the other corner because that's where the electricity was and the because originally it got put there because my computer my old computer uh i had it hooked up to the stereo and the only way I could connect all the stuff to the computer, like the internet and stuff, and be able to plug it in was to put it over there. And I wish I didn't put it over there, but it's staying there and it's not going to move. I'll show you the guys that too um, at some point when I do that video. Um, but that's it for this episode. Try to keep it under 30 minutes and that worked out pretty good. Don't go to Walmart if you don't have any money or if you don't have a lot of money because, you know, you really want to eat the next week and not really buy records and i kind of uh dipped into my my food fund you know i'm i don't really need a lot of food but uh <laughs> but anyway uh just avoid it if you can um but they had great deals on those two records i think as far as i'm concerned and uh, we will uh, talk to you guys later hopefully have another video coming up this weekend uh with the room tour and that's it talk to you guys later bye